Hi guys, it's Michelle. Welcome to my channel, Grateful Creations. I'm going to be trying out the Triart liquid glass on some tiles. Here's the Triart. I am going to use this to make a resin-like finish. This one is a pearl pour. And this one is a regular pour. Like I think it was a swipe that I did. This was a test tile for the Molly one. So I am actually going to move this over so that it's on. There we go. And I'm just going to pour it right on. Trying not to get any bubbles. And then I'm just going to tilt it. It's pretty thick. Tilting it so I don't get any bubbles. Rather than use an applicator, just let it pour off. <clears throat> Get out of here, bug. <laughs> All right, I'll leave that there. I bet your bug comes in there. Not using a whole lot. You do want a f um, even surface and put it on a protective surface like the Fluid Art Co. pour mat. <laughs> there we go. Well, if it dries like that, it'll be really so sweet. There's one spot missing there. I don't think you torch this stuff, from what I've heard. No torching. I, I haven't tried it. Um, not sure I want to try it. All right, that's it, that's all. So I'll be back with the result. All right, let's see if that levels out because it is a little bit, um, whoa, Wilbur. It's a little bit wavy. Hey guys, here's the results. This is one coat 
You can see little striations there where the um, Floetrol cell, the cells were, were made, but nothing that a second coat like this one. Well, actually this was a um, cloud, or not a cloud, a pearl pour. But uh, yeah, you can get that effect. I'm outside by the pool. Very, very cool. It's very glassy. Just like it says, tri glass or tri art liquid glass. Very happy with these results, guys. All right, guys, here is the second part of the experiment. Now that we have this beautiful, this is one coat, one coat. I don't know if you can see that. That is very glassy. Very glassy. This is two coats. I just took some paint off of this. There was a got some paint on it and it came right off yeah but that's two coats of the triart glass now we're going to do it in a as a pouring medium now i'm going to treat this like i would treat this gloss medium pouring medium and it's liquid glass so i have mixed this one part paint one part triart and then two to three parts of flow trough and this is golden. Oh, there's a big lump there. There sure is. This golden um, conacridon magenta. That must have come from this side. This is Master's Touch. Not Modern Master's, Master's Touch. And that's the crystal, pearlized blue crystal. It's very pretty. I almost wish that, I guess I could put some turquoise in there. I might do that, I'm not sure. Um, this is 24 karat gold by DecoArt, mixed with the TriArt as well. This is DecoArt Satin Enamel with Artist Loft White. Enamel, I don't think I need to put the TriArt glass in there. I don't think I should. So we're gonna, be working on an 8x8 eight eight Arteza Cradle Wood Board because it's just a test for this. You know what? Guys, I'm sorry. I want to I want to make this turquoise. Oh, I'm going to do it. I'm putting some turquoise, golden turquoise in here because I think it's going to be really pretty. I was right. <laughs> I was right. I wanted the turquoise next to the magenta. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, baby. <laughs> Don't be afraid to change your colors. You know, if you want them a different color, change them a different color. That I really love now. Okay. So I'm going. All right, guys. For this test, I had a bunch of chunks in here. That didn't turn out too well. It wasn't good. Let's just put it that way. Putting a little bit of white in the bottom. Let's try this again. Gold. I'm gonna go in the same order. Magenta. White. What have I done? Turquoise. Could have saved some, eh? Mm -mm. All right, here we go. You ready? Straight pour. Still chunks. It's got to be the magenta. Oh, 
Oh, not that gold. Way too much gold. All right. I'm not set. I'm just gonna let it. <laughs> Oh my god. to wait until this is dry to be able to judge how well it dries and look at all this oh my goodness that was far too much paint um, I don't recommend using that much paint when you're doing such a small piece because you lose your competition a competition you lose your composition I'm really liking this here and this here so we'll see I got a lot of paint here I've got to put into a jar I'll be back and I'll be back down for a close-up of the wet all right guys Wow <laughs> looks better under lights <clears throat> yeah 
this is not for composition, although I don't hate it. Um, I really like that right there. I love when gold and magenta mix. And there's a bunch of squigglies over there that I made into a clump of squigglies. So it looks like the gold floated. So it was probably too thin. <clears throat> yeah. And we'll see how this dries. This is my favorite part over here though. See what I mean? All right, so I'll be back in a few after it dries. Okay guys, so this is the next day. Um, it's not a particularly beautiful painting, but that's not what I was going for. I just wanted to see what the sheen was gonna be like when it dried. It is dry. Um, I don't know. Uh, maybe the flow trial dulled it a little bit. Um, hmm. More will be revealed. I think I'll try it with some gel gloss medium to, yeah, I don't know, to, um, as a different formula. Um, looks like there's little tiny, I don't know, I think Gina was getting some of these too, but hers were, looked a little bit better than mine. Um, little tiny things. So the jury's still out on the pouring medium part, but it is definitely a winner when it comes to gloss for sealing your work. Okay, that's it for now.